guys, it's me, Pixel Dreams, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today, I am so excited to be bringing you the first video of a new series that's going to be starting on my channel. And we're not going to talk too, too much about the actual series. Today, we're going to focus on the sim that we're creating and then the home that she will be living in. So, Gemma does have a backstory. This is Gemma Highland. And I wrote it out so that I could share with you the details. However, it is a little bit detailed and I'm going to try and keep it so that it's not, you know, too much. So basically, Gemma was born into a fairly regular family. She is an only child to two very loving parents, Wyatt and Harriet Highland. Um, both of her parents are super hardworking sims, but they kind of stay quite comfortably in like the middle class situation. Um, they weren't overly rich, but they weren't necessarily poor either. Her father is a police officer, while her mother is a nurse, and because of their fields, it was quite common that their hours were all over the place, including like some night shifts. So because of that, when both of her parents were working, she spent her time with her paternal grandmother, Alice. Despite her parents being busy workers, Gemma's relationship with them didn't suffer at all, and she never felt like she was lacking anything. In fact, she just felt that she had gained a very strong relationship with her grandmother and was extremely thankful for that. Um, the one maybe negative thing that did come with that was that she just kind of felt like she needed to be an overachiever. So skipping forward to her high school years, despite being able to take care of herself if her parents were not around, Gemma did choose to continue to spend that time with her grandmother. She was really well liked in high school and had quite a few friends. Though she is an introvert and preferred more intimate get-togethers over, you know, parties and everything like that, there were very few, if any, people who didn't enjoy Gemma's company. In fact, she even ended up on the student council as president in her senior year. Um, so, as I said, she was an overachiever, <clears throat> and she always felt that she needed to do her best and then even more than that. So she had this incessant need, need to be bigger and better at everything. She always felt like she, um, sorry, sorry, yes. <laughs> Though her parents and her grandmother all encouraged her to slow down and just enjoy being young, this was something that Gemma just really couldn't help. Um, along with this, she just always felt like she never knew what she wanted to do with her life. She wanted to do it all. She couldn't just choose one thing to focus on. Um, this was only inadvertently encouraged by a comment that her grandmother once made, made that stuck deep in Gemma's brain. And that was that her grandma said that the only thing that she regretted was that she didn't do more, that she didn't experience more. So a little bit of backstory on that, Wyatt, Gemma's dad, was also an only child. And unfortunately, his father, so Gemma's grandfather, did pass when he was quite young in a fatal car accident. And this is actually what led her father to become a police officer. So that did leave Alice, her grandmother, to raise her father all alone. And being a single mom and having to support a child on her own meant that she didn't have opportunities to do as much as she hoped that she could. But anyways, this is Gemma's story. So unfortunately, during her senior year of high school, her grandmother took a really bad fall when nobody was there. She was rushed over to the local hospital, and it was while they were assessing the damage done to her hip that they did discover that she also had stage 4 cancer and that there was very little that they could do to help her. So Alice decided that rather staying in the hospital, that she would rather have hospice care at home. And since her only family was Gemma and her parents, her parents opted to take the time off of work um, so that they could stay in Alice's home. And Harriet actually became her hospice nurse. So unfortunately, just shy of Gemma's graduation, her grandmother did pass away. And though she really did not want to attend her graduation, she did remember her grandmother's words and they stuck even deeper in his, her head now. After graduation, her parents sat her down and revealed that her grandmother's home, which is the same home that her father grew up in, was gifted to her. It was completely paid off and rather than selling it, Alice wanted Gemma to have her start there. So despite being quite young and never being on her own, Gemma moved into the house to make her start in life while her parents returned home. So that's it. That's Gemma's backstory. 
And the key things that I really want to focus on for her is just to highlight that Gemma, she is an overachiever. She always wants to do bigger and better things, but she also, you know, is constantly wanting to do new things. She has those words that her grandmother said about not experiencing enough and wanting to do more. And because of that, she just really can't decide on one thing for her to do for the rest of her life. So that is probably the only kind of downfall in her personality is she's kind of non-committal all around. She wants to do it all, she wants to learn it all, and she wants to see it all. So I'm gonna love you and leave you here for now. I will keep the music on so that you can listen to music and watch the speed build. I really do hope you enjoyed her backstory and watching the creation and then the speed build that will be coming up. And uh, if you did like it, don't forget to hit that great big thumbs up and subscribe button if you're new right here. There will be some new content coming to you very soon with this brand new series starting on the channel. So, have a fantastic day, night, evening, wherever you may be, and I will see you all soon.